What's up, True Seekers? Ben here, back again with some explosive goss that's going to melt any remaining Sussex Squad simps into puddles of delusion. Brace yourself, because the report I'm about to drop borders on fantasy fanfic levels of scandalous. Prince Harry's allegedly trying to orchestrate a solo return to the UK, ditching his demonic puppet master wife in the process. That's right, folks, the long-rumoured fracture in the Rictus Grin Alliance may have finally reached its tipping point behind closed doors. If sources are to be believed, this semi-sentient mop-top is seriously weighing abandoning Meghan's toxic orbit in Montecito and hightailing it back home. Kablammed. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before we move on, I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon, guys. We'll see you again right now as we start the video. So, I'll give you all a minute to catch your jaws off the floor over the audacity. Can you imagine the shrill shrieking and gaslighting tantrums Princess Pinocchio must have unleashed once confronted with Harry's escape plans? The shattered dishware, the crocodile tears, the ruthless psychological flogging to bring her puppet prince back under control. Ambient West Coast neighbours probably thought a bloodbath was unfolding, but apparently this time, the entitled dunce can't seem to fully claw her way back into the broken psyche. Rumours are swirling that Harry bit an emotional Nadia watching his family's struggles across the pond from helpless exile. Enter the conceivient peacemaker narrative from Big Bro William, who's supposedly been working back channel overtime, encouraging the wayward duke to grow a semblance of a spine. You know, the family cocoon support system his narcissistic wife has isolated him from. Whispers of the heir preemptively offering his little bro an olive branch back in the UK, complete with secured shelter and protection from Meg's trauma bonding, an opportunity to deprogram from her soul-crushing dogma. And from the panicked intel leaking out from Camp Methican regarding Harry's mindset, it sounds like for once those sincere professionals of inviting warmth by royal family may have pierced his wife's emotional barricades long enough for introspection to shine in. To contemplate the immense toll her magnificent grifter agenda has imposed on everyone except precious clout and mammon. Of course, that lone epiphany was likely swiftly crushed under the full weight of the captor's ruthless control tactics. The shameless gaslighting and projection volleys potentially admitting, OK, fine, you've exposed my con job, but whose fault is it really? Gotta hand it to Megan. Even when facing the disintegration of her master manipulation, she refuses to go down without a fight. When your only lifeline is deceit, you'll lash out to any external threats. Which is why you can fully expect a full Ukrainian front line's worth of emotional trench warfare being lobbed at the fractured house of the in Sussex in the coming weeks and months. The psychological carnage of codependency being bombed into an ashen wasteland proximity collateral damage to the very children these two unfit guardians keep claiming precedence over. So there you have it. The would-be oited family idol of Meghan Harry's Commonwealth idiocracy crumbling before it even broke ground to the everlasting surprise of absolutely nobody with an iota of pattern recognition for her MO's last decade. So what will happen next in the saga only time will tell, but we'll see you again for more royal news and analysis.